up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and guess what? We have one of those vehicles that might be a dream for you to have in your garage. This is it. This is a 2022 BMW M4, but guess what? This is all in on the performance. It is an M4 competition. But before we get into this slightly modded exterior, of this German performance car, let's talk about what's going on here. BMW. We all know that when it comes to performance, you look for that special letter in the alphabet, the letter M. This is a true M car being an M4. M stands for motorsport, and BMW has definitely had a lot of success in many forms of auto racing over the decades. What they decided to do for this new generation is not only change the exterior, but also bring more of that M performance. A lot of people are still, they still can't sleep at night, they can't eat because they're upset about the supersized grills on the front of the M4s and the M3s, but you know what? I'm a little over it. I'm now ready to accept it and enjoy the on-throttle performance. So what I wanna find out is, does the M4 competition, does that stack up against another German rival, the Audi RS5. And also, I wanna be a little wacky, maybe a little crazy, and I also wanna throw in, for the price point, an American car, a Shelby GT500. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this BMW M4 and see, is it the better performance car? Let's find out. Right off the bat, Dream Giveaway decided to add some of their little special flavor by sprinkling it all over the exterior with the graphics package. Let me know what you think. Do you like the BMW M colors down the side and of course on the hood? But we're gonna get there and Steven's gonna show some more of the closeness of the body lines. But let's start at the front. Up front, you're getting of course the LED headlight setup. You could get optional laser headlights, but on this particular one, you got your LED daytime running lamps, LED headlights, and your turn singles. Definitely very unique how they do that semi-halo design on the front. Now, as we kind of drop down, you are getting functional corner air curtains. So that's the great news is, besides the letter M for motorsport, we got the letter F. And you know what that means. No, not that word, you sicko. We're talking about functional. Lots of functionality to help channel that air. You'll notice we got the carbon fiber splitter on the front fascia all the way down low. And then as we come across the front, this is the place where people just, like I said, they're still upset. You know what? On this particular one being all black, I think it really helps. But you have your vertical gloss black slots. We got the M4 competition badge. This is the real deal. You could get a standard M4. If you go competition, you're getting even more performance. Let me know what you think about this center stripe. This is another part of the graphics package. Dream Giveaway Garage did. Let me know if you like this flavor in the center or if you think that it adds to you not liking it because of the grill size. But you'll notice the carbon fiber splitter all the way across the bottom. Love to have that extra look. And then all of these vents, everything is functional, not only on the inner corners, but also in the center, not only for the heat exchangers, but also for brake cooling and aerodynamic efficiency. Now, when we get up onto that hood, I'm kind of digging from this angle, like if I was a bird and I was kind of just like gliding over the top of this thing, I do love the way they did the M4 stripe in the center. Reminds me of a GTD race car from the IMSA WeatherTech series. I just wish BMW would have gave me some heat extractors here. That would have definitely added to the look, but also bring that functionality piece. But like you, like you see, nice stripe going towards the windshield. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? You're gonna get these M4 competition wheels. Up front, they're 19 inches in diameter, 275 on the width, 35 series sidewall. We got the bright tomato sauce red, that marinara sauce red on your six piston calipers with the M badging. And then those rotors are cross drilled, two piece, and of course, fully ventilated. We got adaptive dampers, all four corners and then you're gonna get that power stick and grip from these Continental Performance tires, and of course, how this thing lays down the power. But 
Love the design of the wheel. Might be a little hard to cl keep clean, but I think it's gonna be worth the elbow grease, and it's always a labor of love when you're looking at cars like this. Now, coming down the side, I do like the way they have the additional carbon fiber. The problem is it's not a fender vent. It's just for decoration, but at least it's carbon fiber, but it would have been nice for this to be another place where heat was exiting from underneath the hood. I do like the way you have that boomerang indentation that it kind of drops in. We got color matched on the mirror caps. And one thing I love about BMW, look at the aero work that they put into their side mirrors. I mean, this is like a wing all within itself. Now from the side of the vehicle, you can see that with that graphics package, it kind of comes into play a little bit more. And I'm really telling you, I think this appearance package looks like something off of a GTD race car. Up top, speaking of race car, we got full carbon fiber roof that's gonna cut weight, lower the center of gravity. Nice, beautiful carbon fiber. And then down below, you have your side sill extension that it comes out pretty aggressively to help channel the air down the side of the vehicle and then past these flared out fenders. Now, when we're looking at the tail end of the business, out back, you got a little bit wider wheel and tire. 285, 30 series sidewall with those extreme contact sport tires. And then coming around the rear, one of my favorite things, that dream giveaway added, this M Performance carbon fiber rear wing. It has that swan neck design, because remember, normally the pedestal is underneath supporting up the wing. That creates more drag. This is less drag, more downforce. Love the nice kick up, and it matches the roof perfectly. And then out back, of course, we have our M4 competition badge, your LED lighting coming across that white portion of the appearance package, M performance in the back, and then we finish it off. That cherry on top of this M for Sunday is the carbon fiber diffuser and the absolutely stunning quad tip exhaust. That's what an exhaust is supposed to look like. Not like a vacuum cleaner nozzle. It's supposed to look like that. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what kind of engine is gonna make sound out of those glorious pipes in our M4. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Get ready because we got some carbon fiber goodies in here. You'll notice that Dream Giveaway decided to up the Dream ante underneath the hood. Nice carbon fiber up front above the radiator. And then of course that engine cover, this is how it should come from the factory. But you got that glorious carbon fiber and I absolutely love the bracing. You could see all the engineering that's been done to stiffen up the front end of this M4. What are we looking at? We're looking at that three liter straight six. It's an inline six twin turbocharged engine. On the competition, you're looking 503 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60, 3.5 seconds, quarter mile goes by at 11.3, and a top speed of 180 miles per hour. The car weighs 3,709 pounds. MPGs, 16 in the city, 23 on the highway. Now, if you're comparing this to the Audi RS5, that's gonna have that twin turbocharged V6 setup. It used to have a naturally aspirated V8, but they switched to a twin turbo V6. And if we're talking about the GT500, we all know that that has a 5.2 liter supercharged V8 that pumps out 760 horsepower. But while we go ahead, let's fire up this carbon fiber goodie of an engine and hear what it sounds like. guys we're inside this dream giveaway garage bmw m4 competition i know you're saying to yourself well joe i want something that is not just a two seat sports car i want only two doors but i like having the extra room in the back i like having a little extra space and man dream giveaway they hit the nail on the head with the graphics package but how much is this so this one msrp's right at $80,000. But remember, you could actually make this your 
dream car. And the way that you could do it is by, if you spend $25 or more, they'll give you double the tickets. Use the Radies Rides promo code. You'll get double the tickets. They don't pay me to say that. They just want to help out and show the love for the Radies Rides fans. So let's go ahead. Let's see what your M4 competition is going to look like when you win it to the door panels. I love on this particular one how it's specced with the red and the black. Really brings out the door panel because, to be quite frank, it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit bland on the style. But with the two colors, the silver looks nice. We got the Harman Kardon sound system. And then you got a semi-decent door pocket. You could put probably one Annie Ann's pretzel and one of those little cups of mustard so you could have your little dipping sauce and you got enough room there for some root beer, some nice Barks root beer. Now going from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material, we got the carbon fiber just like outside, we got the carbon fiber on the inside, you got your 12.3 inch infotainment system, of course it's got all the goodies, navigation, all that hand gesture controls. What I like to show of course is when you hit the menu button and you go into car, then you're able to get into things like driving information, sport displays, check it out. You got your G meter, all the readouts that you could have so your passenger can enjoy all the power and the information that's going. You can see how the, obviously the power is going to transmit from the engine to the rear wheels and then you're right back to where you started. We're going to leave it on sport displays. I like that setup. Working your way down, we got dual climate control, we got heated seats and ventilated seats, smart choice, tons of carbon fiber. Somebody spilled a bucket of carbon fiber in here. You don't need to clean it up though. Two cup holders, USB-A, and you got your wireless charging deep with inside and a 12 volt. And then of course we have our M branded shifter with the stitching. This is gonna control that ZF eight speed automatic. You got a nice bright red start stop button, the new seven iDrive seven software system on your iDrive controller, M4 competition, carbon fiber, just a little bit of gloss black, nothing too crazy. And then guess what? We have some nice soft red leather. Open this bad boy up. You got a USB-C and you got enough space, I would say for 10 golf balls. So if you have your ball signed by Tiger Woods, maybe uh, Arnold Palmer, you could keep those balls in there and nobody's gonna touch them and take them from you because you need your balls and you need to have them in there. Close it up, seats, two-tone, with the red and the black. I love the M4 badging. That black center just makes it pop. Great bolstering, but nothing too crazy. Of course, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. Now there's not a sunroof. That's because we got the carbon fiber roof, but you got plenty of room in here. Get your helmet on for your track day, do your track day, and then you could drive to work on Monday morning all in the same car. But why don't you come over here? I wanna show you behind this M steering wheel in our M4 competition. Hi guys, business time. Behind the wheel of this M4 competition, you have two memory seat settings, that beautiful M4 competition sill plate to greet you every day to let you know that you went big. And then down in the pedal box, I love the way BMW does a great job down there. You got your nice large dead pedal, brake pedal and throttle, all aluminum. We even have the floor mats that have the red on the ex exterior. That red piping, that's an additional five extra horsepower. You got your seat controls and also the side bolstering adjustments that are really nice. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom in here. Bolstering feels pretty good. Not gonna squeeze you like a vice grip. And then you got this amazing steering wheel. The thickness is absolutely spot on the money. Motorsport stitching all the way around. Carbon fiber, heated steering wheel. You even have your M preference buttons, two different preference settings, and we have these surfboard style carbon fiber paddles behind the wheel to go up and down that eight speed automatic, and then that 12.3 inch digital gauge display. Massive two-sided tack, your gear indicator in the center, and the M4 badge, and we also have 11 inch head up display. Now we're not gonna get in the back seat. Yes, there is one. You can watch one of my other M4 reviews. I'm not even gonna get into the trunk because right now I don't care about the trunk. What I care about is on throttle 
in this BMW M4 competition. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're inside the M4 competition. I do have it in manual shift mode, and of course, I have it in sport mode. Right away, you know, when you're comparing this to an Audi, it makes sense, the comparison. What I do like about the BMW more than the Audi is how the infotainment is a little cleaner on the integration. I don't like the stuck on 10 inch infotainment system from the Audi RS5. Compare this to a GT500, obviously the GT500 does not have the same elevation of quality materials and just everything being really sort of more contemporary. But remember, we're talking price point, $80,000 would you get you a GT500 MSRP wise. But let's go ahead and uh, go on throttle and see how the competition uh, performs. On throttle, here we go. Nice. I tell you that eight speed, the ZF eight speed shifts very quickly with those super surfboard style paddles. Off the line, I was waiting for the boost. We're waiting a little bit for the boost from the, uh, the turbocharger setup. But other than that, brakes work great. Massive six piston Brembos. Second gear, oh, it's, wow, here we go. the sound I mean it just gets up to speed so quickly super smooth on the downshifts nice turn in look at that turn in oh nice and crisp it's just one of those cars that you know is something special especially with the way that dream giveaway added that M Performance rear spoiler. I love looking out the, the mirror and seeing that carbon fiber wing back there. And really just the, 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 the quality of the amenities in here makes this easy as a daily driver, but also as that fun performance car that you could take to the track, you could do an autocross event in, you could go down your favorite twisty road and just have a real mind-blowing experience. Just holds a line so well. Now, I personally would like a little bit more weight in the steering, but turning is very, very quick and crisp. I just want a little bit more feedback, a little bit more weight, a little bit more feedback. And maybe a little bit more sound not so much anything pumped through the speakers but a little bit more snap crackle pop we need some rice krispies out the back but let's uh do on throttle again here on throttle here we go nice <laughs> i tell you the way you're able to shed speed so quickly so freaking quickly by just hitting that brake pedal, you're gonna have your braking performance to match the on throttle performance. And that's important to have that balance. You can even option a more aggressive performance seat for this M4 competition. And then you got the flexibility of the back seat as well. On throttle, here we go. way the ignition cuts for a nanosecond to allow you to shift from gear to gear to gear <laughs> this is my favorite part here we go nice really 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 smooth that's the thing is it's so deceiving just how smooth the power band is and when you look down at the speedometer you're like whoa or you're looking at the head-up display, you're like, geez, Louise. But comparing this to a GT500, competition's gonna be close. And definitely with an Audi RS5. It's interesting how each car, this M4 competition, the GT500, 
and the Audi RS5 each have a different power plant, but yet make close to the same performance times. Obviously the GT500 having the most, but the GT500 also weighs the most. So it's one of those things, but we're gonna get back to Dream Giveaway Garage and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another hot and crazy kind of day here on Rady's Rides from the Dream Giveaway Garage. Definitely wanna thank the whole crew, Lori, Chris, Ryan, Genesis, everybody getting us access to their M4 competition. Let me know what you think. Is this BMW the one that would be a dream to have in your garage, especially with the way the appearance of it has been altered just a tad? Or are you gonna go Audi RS5? Or are you just gonna go all in and go with that supercharged GT500? Let me know in the comments section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We definitely gotta thank the man behind the lens, the muscle with the camera, Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, making the magic happen. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.